and the new ninjas begins on nuke I'm just praying whoever wins this map loses the second so we can get Mirage oh, in this yeah. series because that would be extraordinary. Oh man, it's, it's, it's amazing. It was amazing to see Device play Mirage for the first time and now to potentially see Astralis and them go head to head. That's just a treat. It's gonna be Astralis to open over towards ramp but Hampus gives him a love tap. Config, a heavy hitter gonna be taken out of the pistol device may be caught by surprise here that there's a player so close on rafters the doors swing open and that's gonna give a good chance for device to have a bit of cover but blame f trades it we've got duels unfolding on separate sides and an evacuation route from astralis in fact back towards hell but hampus oh he played this one really sneaky and he catches glaive with his head turned blame f is down in vent or no excuse me it's zipix in the back of the site yeah he's lurking around on the rafters Bomb is left right in the middle of the open. And they know where the CTs are going to be posturing to try to attack from. But now it's a question of how do we collect the bomb versus three. And the CTs are doing a great job of covering all of the potential escape routes or entrances. Our control side here uh, has been taken over. Bomb will get recollected. They'll join forces to clear things out properly. And they could potentially go for the plant. But this is where s can actually strike. And he waits for the footsteps to confirm they've sprinted outwards. Berettas from Plopsky. Two guns, two frags, and an opening round for Nip. Yes, yes, they've uh, already got this pistol round that was very well played. Hampus, as you mentioned, was so tricky outside of hell, and it was actually his slow rotation that caught him off, right? Because he got this opening Ooh. duel from Config, and then he didn't overplay the situation, didn't continue to peek and ramp. Instead, he just waited to see if they were going to try to make their way to him. And it's off the kills that dictate where your position is going to lead to, right? If you're going to try to be aggressive because you go down 45, or or if you're going to be able to have options open when you're up 5v4. I'm very smart of Hampus to not get too excited. An IP favored by Betway coming into this first map. And many bodies from Astralis tucked outside of Silo. Saw a very similar round to this from Big just last match. I think it, it makes... Burst beyond. Mm. I think it makes perfect sense for the for NIP to be favored, of course, uh, because of what they've shown with this roster. But I think, Ugh. wow, okay. <laughs> okay, with just the Glocks. No more of that. Lucky Glock headshot over top of blue, but the bomb will be caught in an attempt to cross. So that just kind of uh, takes a bit of pressure off of what was a pretty chaotic situation in Device's hands. He didn't, uh, he didn't really give us a FAMIS trailer. But, you know, when we compare the roster side by side, there is the argument that Astralis have the better one on paper, right? So even though we've got Device on the other sure. team, sure. I feel like we've got some more, a lot more consistent and proven players overall and an inspirited roster, mm -hmm. you know, with the best IGL of all time. Yeah, with tons of support, an organization that gets behind them. The investment is there from Astralis. Not in this round, of course, just the P250 still for Blame F to work with. Everybody else working Glocks. We also have yet to see uh, Device really get comfortable. Like he's been getting better yeah, as the months point. have rolled on, but not nearly at his level that he was on uh, when he played on Astralis, and that's also a question mark. And he alluded to that post-major. Uh, he mentioned, you know, he thinks he himself could have given more. He said that Rez could have also given us a bit more. Yeah. That that they're 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 part of the core. That's the yeah. bottom line. Little vent pop here, seven seconds. Just wanting to die before time. Literally feeding Hapis two kills towards the end of it. And with a smirk. Players to get on right after someone got removed, but they just started winning so much. There was just no room. But now it's finally happened. Guns we'll up. And what feels like the game truly begins. Smokes, incendiaries. Very quick routing from Astralis immediately put to a halt. And they're going to be blind spraying through that smoke. Very good damage versus Blame F, but the other three players behind him are just walking over. And they've managed to dodge damage, unlike Blame. He will remain the forefront of this push, and they kind of fall silent here. Zipix still lurking otherwhere on the map. No pressure, as we still have more than a minute. Yeah, but they're, right now, nip rotations. Okay, they've, they've got Hampus downstairs with this timing called. There's no one here to stop them on control. And we cross a minute, and this is when uh, Astralis will start to make decisions about where they want to go next, if they want to take it lower. And we see they start working on this map control. But do they do it quietly is the question. We've got some nades coming out, and they, they do actually clear this quietly. Okay. This, is, this is pretty big. They'll get closer and closer, no doubt. 
Now the utility is going to give away the play. 35 seconds left. Hampus standing on the ramp and lobby locked off for the time being. It's an MP9 still inside of Hut. Oh, he's so aware of the second Down player. on B, though. Hampus, he's going to be called out by Glaive, still fighting from the open. Lucky burning oh. device and a flashed Hampus falls, but Rez, dink inside of the site, takes Config with him and Zipix. Oh, Jesus. Great lurk. Tons of damage done versus the three standing on the B site for Astralis. Definitely a pressured situation that okay. could have slipped Nip's way, but that's a clean first round win from the T side. That's a call out because if you're Zipix, you can stay inside of Squeaky and watch the vent push. Here's an off angle towards the hut. You're almost never going to clear this like right away. He had a good advantage in that first duel, and he was totally aware of the double push as well. Not only that, he baited the second player into killing him in a different position later on. That was a solid round from Astralis to kick off the rifles. Called out Nip, took, took outside control, didn't lose a player in their default, and made a lot of progress quickly. Yeah, they got the board, the door busted off its hinges. In this round, it's just lesser weapons. Quick play from Blame F. Gonna have his back exposed to Plopsky, but it's just working with the SMG. Almost able to get a second. Hampus into the mix, Deagle through smoke, so it's a dangerous game to play, bursting onto the A site, device takes to heaven, and we've got Astralis kind of working their way outwards, Config 7 health to work with, good thing he was able to dodge those Deagle shots, Glaive's hands busy with the bomb, device puts down the smoke outside so that he can come peeking into sight, and a flash down beneath him so that he can try to prey on somebody inside A, Rez lurking around from lobby, Lucky looks to lock him in, and Rez ready for it. Oh. The dink connects, the damage is done, and Hampus is in the clutch. All three of these players low. Hampus sees the second, gets the guy oh. up close, but Lucky's got the clutch. Oh. And Astralis, oh, it's close. Needed an eighth bullet in that mag, and we could have talked about it. That would have been uh, 1v3 heard around the world. A really nice attempt, but some great damage, even if they leave with just that. It's still early on in the half. Nice attempt on the hold, but a very explosive attack from Astralis. And this is what you could argue is their biggest upgrade in terms of stylistic difference, is that now in terms of an entry pack with, between Glaive and Config alone, like they've got so much power. And you also pointed out that Blamef was one of the first people downstairs in secret. He was almost exclusively the person to hang, hang back outside of Silo in most of their defaults in on complexity. You can already see the roles have changed. Yeah, clear contrast. And what like a tantalizing idea that is, as we're gonna continue to piece together this picture of a new Astralis. You know, because he did what he did for so long, right? That was one of the criticisms of Blame F within complexity is is that the stylistically he didn't really change. Boost inside of the A site from the ninjas looking through the gap. Howdy, neighbor. But ramp completely clear for the taking and by extension, the B-bomb site. And the reason you, it just feels like you want to believe in uh, what they can do, and you can see he's already, now he's in more of his natural position, and certainly they're going to be, you know, more dynamic than simply, oh, we, we've got a new style for you. You can do a million things. In Counter-Strike, because there's no actual specific roles, you don't choose an agent. You can actually play five different roles in any given round, and that's what makes it a really hard game to play, but it also highlights how talented you are as a player. The whole package at times. Oof. Blame F doing a great job just piecing together these frags. It's all him so far with Astralis taking that ramp room route down to the B-bomb site. Blame F looking for the anti-eco ace. Two heads to pop, both about to walk into him, but he falls to the USP and Config clears it up. It's the complexity duo's full house. You also have the fact that Zipix has now played a lurk position. Lucky comes in in the clutch and is actually a very good clutcher and Blame F is, if that's his most natural role. Um, and all these factors, just there's so much potential, right? And just because there's potential doesn't mean that it's going to work out. I mean, like, yep. you know, greater projects have failed. Yep. <clears throat> Plays clan. Oh, sorry, was, did you say something? No, no, just a... Oh. Yeah. Need going around. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, NIP, no ops on this round. All silenced M4s. Let's see what the tempo is for Astralis. Oof, it's going to be a quick one. Right into the site. They catch S attack. Spotted him one up high. Oh, my God. They know that Plotsky's oh here, but God. Config kills him. Two frags from Config as he comes out from Hut. And it is Astralis cutting through this A site like it's nothing. They ate every flash like they were starved for four days. They just loved it. They lapped it up. They got all pushed off their positions. No one could help each other. Communication was completely useless in that moment. That was a beastly execute. Damn, dude. Rez in the depths of CT spawn already. Insta save call. Astralis smash through A site. 
for um, NIP, one of the biggest things that the, the of, of concerns with their new lineups that they were struggling on T sides and as a tag, it didn't have good T side statistics. Saw a couple of people put up uh, uh, pictures of stats in uh, highlighting that over the last year. Now, of course, it's a little bit weird because for Asatag, it's been one of those tragic stories of like, you know, did each team have enough time for him to do anything about it? Or, you know, were the systems good enough? And when he was on Astralis, he did literally nothing wrong and then got cut. And that's why you're always holding out hope for him as a player. And we've seen what he can do. So this is supposed to be his most structured team where he's most comfortable and he's actually going to be able to play lands, you know, in a uh, environment where he can play and have a, uh, a facility to work from as well. So this will be the best chance for him to kind of prove those stats wrong or really show what he can do once again since his time on Astralis. But lots of questions. And slowly we're being fed the answers. Two M4s, of course, for the ninjas. What's left of the previous save? Nice position from Hampus next to red. But Blame F holds off, and he's not alone here. No, he's got Glaive behind him. Oh, good jump up from Hampus, but the spray's not so clean. They're like stormtroopers. Glaive stands at 22 health, Hampus just 14. Imagine how long Star Wars would have been if it was just stormtrooper versus stormtrooper. <laughs> <laughs> oh. NT, get away from that. Don't talk about it. Maybe drop that gun off with a uh, device if you can find him. Yeah, I'll leave it with somebody else. Secret, yeah. Device still empty handed in terms of kill count. Zero and six is his start on nuke, but Rez will find impact with the Colt. It's Glaive down. Now that's, of course, just finishing off Hampus's earlier damage. So what is left of Astralis is still standing on strong legs, unwavering as they play side by side outdoors and even catching device. Zero and seven. Yeah, I'm actually surprised he kind of takes an aggressive line there. It, uh, he's going to get found out eventually. It doesn't have utility to, you know, tuck and uh, if he gets mollied out. So, but this does open up downstairs. Hamp is quite low. It's one of the only two guns available. As Tag will get some information, but doesn't have much to fall back on in the way of weapons. Will be able to get into a closer corner oh. and is given a chance to jump up. Yeah, and now they make a good rotation, actually. Yeah, Ooh. they can take upstairs. Zipix comes in from the squeaky door, so it's on Plopsky to stop bomb. Time is of the essence. 15 seconds, but of course Zipix going to lock in the vent, or will he? Oof, turning around where there was a chance. Astralis needing to commit to plant. And so they'll do so. Hap is looking to shave one off with a deeper angle in lobby, but it's going to be difficult to get Esetag out of the vent. Let alone Hampus come in with a clutch, only 14 health because of that first initial duel between Glaive and Hampus. Yeah, that's a tenuous retake. You can try it. When you have someone in squeaky, that's how you can assist someone getting up the vent. But you still have to clear the very close right, and opposite vent is always a threat as well. So it's never easy to rotate up the vent Ooh. in that situation. They might have wanted to try, but Astralis are very smart about mollying Hut so they could focus all their attention on you know one other choke point. And now they're getting cut off at the pass. That's a tag still only on this P250, and Astralis win another round. Those, so when you take downstairs and you know you get enough information going up the up the vent, usually happens really late into the round, like at that 15 to 20 second mark. Oh, you had a boost on opposite vent. That was nice. And it looks it looks scary, and it is. But they're in the game on this map on CT side as well with the op. But this half is already getting away from them, that and they've is. actually got a very anti-op style with the uh, kind of aggressive contact executes that Astralis are pulling like off this. right now. Yep. Just like this, insta sprint into the A site. They've lost a player within, but Convict good for another double entry. Last time Dude. they smashed their face against this A site, it was Convict to headbutt the defense down, and it's worked yet again for another successful round. They've got the CTs strapped all around them. Device still sticking outside of Mini. This doesn't look like an insta-save. Last time, Rez was all the way back in his spawn. Oh. Now there's still a chance, but Config looking for more than two. A trio of frags from Config, and Lucky locks in the A site. It is a 6-2 lead for Astralis. It's an anti-op style. It's an anti-op style. Th these, these kinds of contact explode since there's no time to rotate. Like, if, for example, if you see, we talked about with that uh, simple rotation, if he gets in the upstairs site when he thinks it's going to be upper, usually in the late round, when he drops down, that's when he's going to make his final rotation. But in the early round, you're trying to flirt with the idea of not having to commit upstairs if you don't think that attack is coming and you're watching outside, you're in you're in, uh, in hell, you're rotating to ramp and you're playing all these positions because you could do so much from there. So to make that early round move into upstairs is really rare. And for that reason, you're relying on their site anchors to do a good job. And right now, they aren't. Man, he's just coming in. He is so he's playing so quick. He's literally he's treating them like 
the floor treated his hand when he dropped on it in the oh airport. Oh my god, with the you can't talk about that. He's healed, it's fine, it's over. He's back. Man was injured. His dreams were on the line. Imagine breaking your hand and still getting signed to Astralis. Yeah, that's how good he is. And he's showing us worth his weight in gold thus far on Nuke. Config, you can't I, do that. I actually you didn't. You cannot do that. The wide side of the box. Who said you can do that's this? That's insane, man. That's, a, that's how strong he is. He's back at full strength. Rez going to shut it down. Gets his hands back on the M4 downstairs. Oh. Glaive and Lucky in with a couple of kills. One to their names apiece. And we've got Astralis on for a seventh. It's exciting too, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's exciting. It is insane. This is blood pumping. Wow. Let's <laughs> at the T side. What if Astralis are the only team in the world that could take down uh, Navi on nuke? Oh, this part of the CT side. Ooh, lucky, uh, lucky, lucky looking elsewhere. Mm. But Glaive's right there to pick it up. He said, I'm sorry. Well, that's, that's a lot of energy. The entry pack is insane. Config is going crazy right now. Bro, he's 14 and 5. Oh my god. Yeah, he's he's mauling them. And honestly, the flashes are working a little bit too well. They are just totally lost upstairs. And honestly, we saw with Vitality, you know, Kyojin, you've got a new guy on the team, and he stressed that communication. I've seriously never seen that before. I've 10,000. 10, I've like, you know what I mean? Oh my goodness. Um, How dare you? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that, okay. Lend a helping hand. Yeah, that's all. That's nice of them. Might actually make a difference. Yeah, very well could. Jokes aside, that's three players, you know, sub 90. But uh, Config's on full health. And he's also full speed. Man, and the fact that they've just attacked upper, it's so vulnerable right now. Like, it's just, it's just a piece of meat that's been malleted for the last, like, 10 minutes, basically. You have to respect it upstairs. You can't over-reinforce, because if you do that, then that's where Glaive is going to... His conditioning will kick in, and he's going to look for other places to attack. And you can see right now, they're not doing that upstairs hit. It's always the chance to go back for it if they want to. We can see the L smokes. They're doing their vent boost again. Outside. And it worked. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's twice now. It's actually really powerful because the only way to molly it is by, pe by peeking from inside Squeaky. Well, here we go. 5v4. That ain't half bad. Chance for the ninjas. Deep garage control. Config going to be left to his own devices outside. And sure enough, Esetag just able to get onto the staircase. It's a great headshot angle for him to try and stop the cross. Multiple bodies. And they're coming past him, not at him. Ooh, nicely done. Swings wide off of the decon door. Glaive trades. Rez in position. Stops the bomb. And we're in for the blame F1v4 with 15 seconds left. So desperate is the word I think I'm looking for. Device attacks him from the back. Start by destroying the 1-1 one, one in the 3-1-1, one, one, right? And that is a good start for them. Gives them a lot of information as well. But Astralis are leaving a different lurker every round. So it's really hard to know if you kill one person if that guy is solo. I like this. Glaive leading with the op. Posts it up early outside. We saw him op a little bit at the major. He was actually really good. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I kind of like this idea of Device versus Glaive outdoors right now. But Device takes up a position inside of Garage where Glaive was previously peeking. And now Device is not scoped in towards this. The grenade's going to serve as a distraction. He is exposed to the left side of red. Oh, oh, what a shot. Nicely done from Device. Right. That's another 5v4 for the nip. And ninjas in pajamas. They've won a round just previously off of a back of this opening kill. Yep, and you need to be converting. 70-80% of the time, just that's it. But a different route this time, Launders. Instead of going downstairs in the man disadvantage, they're looking to challenge Outer. Uh-oh. Lucky kills Plopski. That I'm happened back. inside of Mini. From Garage to Mini, a CT falls. 40 seconds and Config on the cusp of heaven. I think they might have known that he'd get up here. Rez is holding it, but he's periodically oh, watching this. And oh. Rez fails on that attack. That's with heaven. They can crunch upstairs. This is very dangerous. Player down beneath them. An S attack. Hampus looking for info, but oh. instead he takes an op shot to the chest. And Astralis redirect. They are pushing this bomb towards B as oh Zipix God. comes out from Decon. This is such a nice play. There are layers, but there is still life as well in the ninja's camp. Device and s a kill apiece and a 2v2 with the bomb planted down on B. s goes one better, and now Glaive is going to have to clutch with the op in the post plant. Has doors open. Knows s on sight. 
And it's just a matter of device posting through those double doors. Oh, you can feel the timing. Mm -hmm. So he's going to try to come at this from another angle. But there's also a smoke on top of sight and a five-second stick from Esetag. One shot is all he's got. And it gets denied by device. Well done, Esetag. Uh, picking up the pieces. Because Charles's game plan is obviously so complicated right now. With NIP having no demos to watch on this roster, this has got to be a nightmare to try to figure out on the fly. Yeah, they're piecing it together, though. Back-to-back -back round wins. I believe a 2v4. Yeah, it was. So. Ninja's clearly bringing a fight. Surviving the first onslaught. And for three consecutive rounds, we've got the Ninjas 5v4 mm -hmm. after 5v4. That's big. Device. What's the recovery plan? Was one and nine, now five. They throw a fake upstairs, and that's just to try to de deplete the utility from the CT side, knowing that they're extremely scared of the upstairs hit. Config looking to keep it sharp on A. Tag down to 60. Oh, okay. Nice double from Plopsky. Hits the headshots he needs. And that's going to leave Glaive and Lucky all that's left for Astralis, both of which looking to play secret. But Glaive sticking around a bit. Hap is going to gobble him up. And it's the young gun that's all that's left. Five versus one. Really nice in these conversions from this point. Taps down Plopsky. Easy pickup considering he's low HP. Flash for the bomb grab. Insta dink by Hapis. He is everywhere this round. Yeah, and that's what he should do, right? Um, I think Sponge brought it up that he's probably the best player on the team. Defense. But still fight versus a two round lead. Back in with the AK 47s, Astralis. Looking to use Blame outdoors. Wall of Smoke, gonna keep the attention of a couple of Ninja's players. Notably Device behind Little Blue Box. Tons of utility usage here coming out of Blame F. They're really fighting for the secret control and he gets through unscathed. That's a weird one. They got Lucky two. right there with him. Yeah, two in the cross this time. So hard to read these numbers. Feels like Ramp has been underplayed a little bit from Astralis. Looks to me like maybe they're gonna look to uh, throw that into the mix. So we'll see if Rez is able to stop them. He's been relatively uncontested. Hampus towards Decon. Ooh, sticks around for the fight and cuts down Blame F. Device is op in position towards ramp, so it doesn't even need to be res. Because the opera is in position fast enough to stop it. A jump up, a missed shot, a wide peek, and a second shot that's going to go astray. But Lucky's tucked into control, and they're hunting him right now. Hampus comes up, and Lucky shoots him down. Rez now tucked into the ramp corner. Config has to hard clear this, and you can see him figuring it out. You can see them piecing this together towards the B site with 40 seconds still up. And a smoke towards Decon, but they need to hold off double doors. Plopsky's about to swing it, and he's got himself a second attempt. A wide peek out to kill Zipix, and a 1v1 for Config to try and clutch. This is a hard-hitting Config, 16 and 8. And he gets around towards Control, silently coming down the staircase. Plopsky starting to piece this together, but no! <laughs> Had no business snapping onto Config, but... Config with the miss jump, man. Oh, that's gonna haunt him. And Device, not gonna let off the pressure. Not gonna give them any room to breathe. He's Already down again. Delivering so many opening duels. And such a slow start from Device as well. One and nine. Oh, what? But, okay. Ah. Oh. There's still a chance to recover this one. Astralis, they've been fighting back from these 4v5s. They, the they left the bomb. They oh, actually, no. Yeah, they're, they're a bit far from this. Still lots of time, but they saw they got an opportunity they didn't expect. Ooh. Oh. I saw Hapis checking out somebody Ooh. else's screen, keeping an eye on radar. Right. His eyes were busy, and Config locks into him. 2v4, but we know what Plopsky can do. He just gave us a hell of a multi-kill, and at least, at the very least, Bomb's been picked back up. It's still a wonky one because of the timing created by that being left behind. But of course, Astralis, they've got a mastermind at the helm of this squad, and he'll piece together timings, figure out where he needs to commit, and a site looking likely. Yeah, so good at uh, staying separated, but always creating connections and uh, assisting each other to watch angles. They have such good court vision in that way. And that's something that's always been a hallmark, hallmark to counter or to uh, Astralis is that that communication appears to be so good that like it really does feel like five fingers on one hand, as Shocks famously said. Plopsky and Estag have no business attempting this and are looking to be able to grab a last round. Would be a, kind of a statement for Astralis to get nine um, on their T side because again NIP struggle a little bit on theirs. Yeah, that's where we know their question marks lie, right? It's always playing offense. Oh, hey there. 
As the Tigan Plopski kill a piece, so looking like they've earned their weapons. There's a garage peek, though, that's about to come through, and that'll deny Esetag at the very least. Plopsky, just tuck down. You're good, bud. Oh, no, don't, no. It's a trap. Ooh, he's good. He's got it. Okay, yeah, he survived. Play that he had been able to lean on Device, who started again 1 and 9 in this half, and now brought it to 7 and 11, but almost every single one of those kills has been an opening one. Quick play. Blame F gonna sprint with the Mac 10 into Secret. And a few players come through. Smoke, device. Another one. A little flick down into config. And it looks like Astralis instead. They're just going to be like, well, if we have that route towards secret and we've just lost config on the other end of these smokes, let's take what we've already gotten. I like that two prong between blame F and config. But now it's a matter of dealing with Hampus on these stairs. And well, we've seen him play over towards decon, but this time it's towards double instead. Falls back into the helping hands of his teammate from ramp. But Vent is also under question. Plopsky, this is a nice hut push. Zipix has been patient. And, oh, it's a two-man push into lobby with Esetag to hang on to man advantage. Yeah, so Device can... locks oh. into dark, but that's a big pickup. Esetag goes down. Wait. Hamp is trying to spam into the vents, but this is a rotation, of course, from Astralis up into the A site with a 3v3 on their hands. They kept that option open. They waited for Glaive to get some information, and he took the risk because it was 3v4, and he was successful. And now the odds swing in favor of Astralis in this post plant drastically. Ooh, but that's a quick one. However, close corner held by Glaive. Good trade. Rez coming in from Mini. Lucky's got the advantage, but drops the shot, and now it's going to be Glaive to have to get them all. He's got the headshot versus Hampus. Bomb planted close. Rez taps. Glaive peaks so slightly, but the reload's needed. And he's just going to force him to tap that bomb again. Glaive taking his time. Oh, but Rez is so crisp. Goes back, grabs Kit, takes the defuse, and Ninjas, by the skin of their teeth, oh, they get themselves the last hero. Two. Wow. A couple of things. Okay, also, um, uh, Stiko put out uh, how to molly the opposite vent without showing yourself off of the top of the vent. Mm. Okay, that's on Twitter. And then also, I didn't know. I didn't notice that Config had the scroll jump. You pointed it out yeah. in the 1v1. Yeah. Um, unlucky. Unlucky. I still recommend uh, using Bad mouse or unlucky? Wheel. Still recommend using uh, mouse wheel. Yep. Don't let the haters hate. Damn, Stiko really live anti-stratting ninjas in pajamas <laughs> CT side. Yeah, I guess they could have used that. Ain't but. no rest for the wicked. And Glaive, well, he'll tap away the first one. Astralis on the defense with Blame F in the mini. And the mix, Rez, two frags to his name, 2v2, bomb drop, 1v1 in the second pistol. With and that, it's the clutch minister, Launders. Rez goes positive, yes, and we are on LAN as well, which is the other part to the puzzle for Zipix. Is it big season? This is where he usually never loses. He's got Will it. Rez win this. He has the vent behind him now. It's always a threat for Zipic. Oh, he didn't know he dropped. Oh, my God. Oh, now man. he does. Okay. Yeah, now he's got him locked in this fight. Rez. Oh, so many chances, man. Get your damn headshot. How ah. does he do that, dude? Zipix with the win. Rez just cleans the clock at three people. No problem. But Zipix can't hit him. Can't that hit him. It's in your mind, dude. I don't even know, dude. He just has an evasion aura. That's just ridiculous. He, people are scared of him. Don't press tab, folks. Unbind it. Some kind of brain worm. It's just, that's just what he's... That's why you pay him. That's why it's 2025 Zipix right there. Because he gets you the big ones. Yeah. Damn. CT side starts off with a bang from Astralis. A lot of hype. Betway odds still in the favor of Nip, despite being down by two rounds. Ooh. Okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Headshot through the box, make it look easy, and we that's going to allow Blame F to push forward. We know he does a little scouting. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's fond of the scout, huh? Aye, aye. Blame F, though. That's an easy pickup for him, because Rez preoccupied with the player at a distance. And, of course, it's Zipix versus three on the ramp room. They're going to try to double peek, and they will get their kill. But not much more than that. Astralis, 10. Some of the economy. A couple flashes outside deny any space device from up top and it's obviously become very clear that device was what helped them get back into the game and is now coming no closer doubt. to having a respectable half even though overall it wasn't amazing for the ct side a lot of openings Ooh, yes sir but he's definitely online now yep solid recovery and a recovery within a half normally can set you up for a good second 
Of course, we'll have to wait to see the ninjas on their guns. For now, it's going to be Astralis to continue and rack up these easy ones. Or so it should be. Blame F and Config doing good work outside. Body after body, they're all going to fall. It's a flawless conversion from Astralis. I would be really worried about my spot on the team, honestly, if I wasn't going to be offing, I won't lie. Uh, I think that is something that you'd you'd wonder about. Does Glaive want to consistently off? And he can, he definitely can, but it's just a question for Lucky. Not to say he's not a good player outside of that, but that is what he was hired to do. So, okay. Let's see, let's see what he can pull off. Alternatively, right now, Lucky's playing a site floor. As opposed to obviously Glaive outside. No, not even. Glaive actually goes for the lobby, uh, for the, excuse me, for the ramp. Solo ramp setup and uh, a barrage of smoke grenades trickling down outdoors. All of which could set up Zipix. Just toying with the side of this incendiary. He could find Hampus yes. and sure enough, standing in the open. Beautiful play. Maybe set up by the CT incendiary. Led ninjas to believe that Astralis didn't have prying eyes from that position. In the meantime, not only do we get the op pick up on ramp, but config kills S attack through smoke, and this is going swimmingly for Astralis. Yeah, that's kind of a, a mistake, right? Like they think I don't, they both threw Molly. I think that the the T Molly as they're trying to cross outside, this doesn't go a few stairs down. It doesn't have to go mm -hmm. to the bottom of stairs because sometimes that can push you up. But from that position, it was just, you know, a nice cover for oh, Zipix. Dude. They did find timing. To take a peek. Ah, but they won't find Blame. Plopsky 1v5, shut down by Blame F, who doubles up to close it. Mm. Blave come in because they didn't go ramp in that round? So he, yeah, he just picked one and then fades away. Oh, he picked one? Okay. Yep. Kind of adds it to the tally. You know, those three kills that kind of trickle in one after another. Yeah. Puts his name on one. Mm. And uh, a varied... Ramp set up with Zipix immediately playing something different. Plopsky. Aware of the possibility. What you doing, Zipix? He's making sound. Oh, and his incendiary gets extinguished. Frag. It kind of baits them right in. Easy pick up for Zipix. He's got a third. Device puts him down in config trade straight away. Bomb in full possession. This is a round for Astralis, That's, no doubt. We're getting into insurmountable lead territory here at 13. And Woo. the other thing is that uh, just not... A lot of work to do. Can they do it? They've got to start now. Op contact outside. Device looking for the pick. Ooh, and he finds it. Glaive playing with nades, but a lobby push. Config comes in, wow. takes one down. That's a four-player lobby push with Glaive dropping nades outside. And even though the op pick is there for Device, there's nobody with him to push forward and take that ground. So now that Astralis equalized, I said they could reset, but instead, Blame F continues on in this aggressive endeavor. Shut down by Hampus after he takes one, but it's this trade game back and forth. Yeah, that's a very messy situation. They tried to honeypot, I mean, they're successful. They tried to honeypot them into just overtaking lobby control completely. Shot them in the side, but then you still lose some compensation with another frag. So no outside presence, but there are some question marks on the map for Astralis because there was this timing outside now that Glaive died. Even though Nip didn't take it, they're kind of respectful of that idea. Lucky sitting here with a full kit. Everyone's got their nades. Three out squeaky is a very powerful move. They've got the molly on Hampus if they want to burn it on him. They're both also extending outwards. If they don't hard check this vent, then Lucky's good, but he is so passive and they seem to have forgotten the possibility. Sure enough, Lucky double kill. Device in with the clutch in the 1v3, he'll swap. AK in hand, but there's already a hot man. Oh, and Config's oh. got it. A little bit of a swing. Woo. Back to pistols, man. NIP. They yep. Showing us nothing here in the second half. Literally zero T round wins from ninjas, zero bomb plants from ninjas offense. Mm. And coming into this matchup, that was the question mark, right? It's their T sides. It's a known, a known Problem, weakness. Yeah. And it's on full display so far versus Astralis's CT side on nuke. Upgraded pistols with armor all around them. Smoke wall causes uncertainty, but config, his confidence pushes him in through squeaky door down to 5 HP just trying to find cover he's got teammates to give him that but S attack on the <laughs> deagle wall bank through hut will give the ninjas at the very least a 5v4 yeah. but no recoverable gun they've actually been quite successful about the 5v4s throughout the game very much so yeah, which is something definitely in the it's you know not... later part, parts of the first half yeah all right luckily lucky in a similar position this time doesn't have a smoke for himself 
maybe look to play a little bit more actively. They're probably not worried about an op as well. Uh oh, Whoa. timing. Yeah, I was seeing a bit too much there for Glaive. Kind of awkward too, falls without dropping the nade, but oh, now they see the intention was to go lower. Oh, device point blank tech nine shot. Zipix's gonna hear this rotation back towards the A site. Plopski, oh, nice attempt with the, the jump. Bombs alone. Yep, and Zipix able to slide back around into lobby. Molotov on the feet of the two. Ooh, and he takes to the roof. Here comes Blame F, sweeping away bodies from the mini <laughs> okay. side. Three easy pickups. Nobody, Glaive, caveman noises. And what could be the last round of the first map already here in round 23, NIP. They, went, they have, still haven't won a T round? Did no, they get sir. one? No, they didn't even get one yet. Nope. Oof. I mean, damn. Blame F even denied them the bomb plant. Now the hybrid's coming through. At least, honestly, the ops haven't been a problem for NIP. They've been doing a pretty good job of not getting offed and also, you know, out offing the opper. Yeah. That was definitely. Oh! Well. Oops. Just speak it into existence, I guess. Config, though, fully blind. Blame oh. F, lucky, shutting this down. A flawless run on Astralis' defensive half. Unless Device and Hapis can manage to take it back by force, they are stuck inside of lobby with no bomb in a two versus five of all things. Jesus. This is a message. Absolutely. Leave now. And we'll meet you on overpass. The ninja's wanting to take it to overpass and config wanted to take it by force. Hap is gonna answer. Galil in hand, good for the second, but eight points of HP. And Lucky breathing down his back. Gives away the position. Could have given away the kill. Hampus still has a chance, despite it being slim. A missed op shot certainly won't help, but he's got himself a third, jumps wide.